Hello and welcome back Exiles. Today I wanted to make a video about the new Guardians Blessing support. And I've seen a lot of people talking about this, a lot of people saying it's like really hard to sustain on your minion to get your uh, free aura up. And um, you know, people are having issues um, using it. So I've been using it at actually a very high level one, Guardians Blessing. I've got it level 19 right now, I'm going to level it up further. Um, so at right now it actually shreds 14% of my minions life per second and I have no problem sustaining it. So how am I doing that? Uh, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. I've got an Excel spreadsheet for you guys and uh, yeah, let's hop right in. So first of all, what is Guardian's Blessing Support? So Guardian's Blessing Support, what it does is it supports a skill that creates minions that can be damaged and an aura and then it casts that aura around your minion. So for me, I've got Guardian's Blessing, Malevolence, and Animate Guardian. So Animate Guardian casts basically my, malevol my Malevolence off of it. Okay. So right now it's turned off. It'll be turned off every time you enter and exit a zone. You click your uh, skill, and even though I'm like completely out of mana, uh, I can run Malevolence Aura off this Guardian. And you notice its health is not going down. It's sustaining far past uh, where the degen is. So how do I sustain that? Well, let's take a look at the skill and see what type of damage it is and how we can mitigate it. So it says, minions from supported skills take 14% of their total maximum life and energy shield as physical damage per second while you have an aura from a supported skill on you. Okay, so it's a dot and it's physical damage. So that means that armor doesn't do anything for us. We need either general damage mitigation or we need physical damage mitigation. So there's a couple of places you can get this. Um, first is on the skill tree. So over here, there's the Indomitable Army Cluster, and this gives us 8% uh, here and 15% here. So that's a pretty good start. You need this cluster if you want to run this jewel, or this uh, gem, sorry. Um, then the other place that you can get it is actually the Meat Shield Support. The quality has 5% additional, additional physical damage reduction. There are some other sources like endurance charges. I don't like endurance charges uh, for this because they're unreliable. They can fall off and you don't want that to happen. Especially because uh, gearing out and anime guardian is expensive. You don't want it dying, right? You want something that can just sustain infinitely and is consistent. So I've got a spreadsheet here with uh, different sources of things and uh, regeneration and uh, I'll bring it up. So here we go. So sources of physical mitigation. Now you can the animate guardian is a bit different from the other minions insofar as you can equip it with gear. So shields actually can get physical mitigation up to eight percent. I've got seven percent on mine right now. Um, I could have another percent, but there wasn't really anything on the market that that I wanted. Um, there's also a lot of other really good mods you can get on rare shields. By the way, things like uh, um, you know. Shock on block, things like that, right? Uh, on my AG right now, I'll just zoom in on it here. You can see I've got a round shield. Round shields have 120% um, uh, block recovery. It makes it block a lot faster, makes the AG really tanky. And I've got a block roll on it too. It's got like plus 14% block. So it's got like a 48% block shield on or something like that with 7% physical mitigation. So it's blocking often. So the AG isn't dying, but it also has that mitigation for the dot. Um, okay, so let me go back. So that's the shield. Um, then we've got the Indomitable Army Skill Tree Wheel, which I showed you earlier, 23%. You have the 5% from the Meat Shield. And then 24% less generic damage taken also from the Meat Shield. So that gives us 35% additional physical damage reduction and 24% total less damage taken. Okay, so this is applied after this one because it's multiplicative. Um, then yeah, optional slash unreliable sources here. There is um, a doppelganger's guise, which gives you 40% less physical damage taken while sane, and your anime guardian is always sane. Uh, but the downside of this is it's a chess piece, and if you use this, then you can't use the Grookthul's Pelt, which has 10% life regen on it. The doppelganger's guise has some life regen on it, but it's only when you're hit, which again is unreliable, and you need it to be reliable because it's going to be constantly degening, right? Um, so one setup is the setup that I have like this, which I've highlighted in the yellow. 
And then the other setup would be something like Mask of the Stitch Demon with Doppelganger's Guys. So you're able to get the, the regen. Mask of the Stitch Demon, by the way, is about 200C right now. It's pretty pricey. Um, but if you have it and you have the Energy Shield node, let me see, where is it? Uh, Grave Intentions, 20% of Max's extra Energy Shield. Um, the Mask of the Stitch Demon will convert that Energy Shield into Life Regen. And at my current like AG, it would be about 24% Life Regen, which is like huge. It's like over double the growth cool's pelt. The downside of doing it this way, though, is you lose your helm slot on the AG. And actually, Leer Cast is really good. It gives you 50% increased damage. So, you know, it's a bit of a trade-off. It's like, what do you want? Do you want the, like, like uber, uber survivability of the Mask of the Stitch Demon Doppelganger's Guys combo? Or do you want to have a little bit more flexibility with the gearing and be able to put on a damage helmet as well? Now, with this current mitigation that I have, with just the shield, meat shield, uh, indomitable army, and the 20 qual meat shield, uh, that brings the mitigation over here, that if I have a level 1 Guardian's Blessing on, I only need my animate Guardian to have 3.9% life regen. Uh, at level 11, which is the, the no change, no reduced aura effect level, um, that I would need 5.5, and at level 20, where you get the 27 increase or effect, which is like GG epic, um, you would need 7% uh, life regen on your ancestor uh, animate guardian. So right now, I have the 5% regen on the tree. I have the Grook Thules at 10%. I have Unwavering Faith, which gives me about 30% more. And I have uh, total life regen on the AG at 19.5%, which is actually pretty significant. At this level of life regen, this is way out um, regening the degen, even at the very highest gem level, which is why, you know, if you're in game and I have this running, like you don't see this moving at all. It's totally fine. If I go into maps, it's not going to move either. Um, I've got the cluster two where I get the life back on block. So like this thing is like block capped. And it's almost spell block capped too because of the Guardian. Because the Guardian gets um, the Bastion of Hope. So like, yeah, it's it's super mega tanky. Now this build, of course, like I'm scaling um, Summon Sentinel of Radiance damage only on this build. I'll, I'll make a build guide on this later, by the way. This is a really cool build. It's just a pure Sentinel of Radiance build. Uh, I have no other damaging minions. Like literally every minion here is just buffing the Sentinel of Radiance. Um, this build is unusual because it has more life than you would, like, minion life than you would normally have in a AG build, or in a build that has an AG in it. Uh, so, like, depending on your build, you might have to have additional layers of defense for your an uh, anime guardian for it to stay alive. But for me, like, nothing touches it because my minions are, like, immortal at this point, right? Like, if you look at my uh, defense here, or miscellaneous, sorry. I've got 319% minion life modifier because that's what I'm scaling to get the damage off the Sentinel of Radiance. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to this real quick. So just some final uh, thoughts here. Preferred links on a four link. You have your Animate Guardian, the aura you want to cast, Meat Shield, and Guardian's Blessing. If you're going like a build like mine and you're, you're doing like a... You, you can sacrifice your six link. Um, you can do Animate Guardian, your Aura, Meat Shield, Guardian's Blessing, Empower, and Minion Life, which helps your uh, Animate Guardian not die. Or alternatively, you can get Minion Life in a uh, in a Helm slot. I think it's, I want to say it's Elder and Elder Helm. It's either Shaper or an Elder Helm. I think it's an Elder Helm. You can get Minion Life, so you can get your 5 Link um, for your defense up there too, and then the Empower's not too big of a deal. Um, like, for me, I don't have any plus minion gems in my entire build because, like, the Sentinel of Radiance doesn't scale off of it at all. Like, if you look, I've got, um, there you go. Like, I've got no plus minion gems here, no plus minions, no plus minions, right? So, even even at just a level basic level 21 Animate Guardian, I'm able to, like, keep it alive, and I've never had an issue with it dying. Well, yet, anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'll bring this up one last time and just keep it on the screen so you can uh, see it. Think about um, how you want to kind of gear up your Animate Guardian. Uh, I guess one last thing before I go. 
just talk about some of the other things that I have on the Anime Guardian right now. So obviously I've got the Griff Cools Pelt for the regen. I've got the Lear Cast. That's like pretty standard too. And then that shield with the Viz Mint on it to help with the um, degen scaling. I've also got Legacy of Fury boots on right now. It gives uh, Scorch. That's just for my build specifically. It's fire. So it, it brings down the fire res of the nearby uh, enemies. And then I've got an Advancing Fortress on the, um, the uh, weapon slot. That's just for more block. Again, I'm just like block capping this guy so that he uh, won't ever die. You could replace this. There's like a scepter that makes it so uh, the AG takes elemental ailments for you. Although, I don't know, it could be a bit sketchy and you don't want too much uh, extra damage on him and shock and degen if he's going to be already degening from the Guardian's Blessing. So maybe, maybe not on this build, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you think. I think... Um, you know, it's not actually as bad to sustain this as a lot of people are thinking if you have, like, the right gear on your uh, AG. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, 29% increase aura effect malevolence is pretty spicy to have in your build. Uh, highly would recommend this Guardian's Blessing if you can fit it into your build somehow. And the other nice thing, too, is, like, because this is on an, on an anime Guardian, you can get a lot of buffs for your minions, like, there's a lot of different things that you can put on an anime guardian. So it's not even necessarily a wasted slot. Like, it seems like a lot of links, right? Like, it's at minimum four links. But you have to think about it. Like, there's so much other damage that you're getting from this thing that it actually makes it worthwhile to have all four links set up with the anime guardian. All right, that was a lot of talking. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to make a, a build guide or a first looks or impressions at my pure summon sentinel of radiance build at some point soon. It scales up to level uh, 85. I'm a little at level 81 right now. So it's got four more levels to go, but it's already, I've already got it up to 132k life. So it's pretty, pretty freaking thick. Pretty thick. And it looks cool as hell, man. Look at this thing. It's like an anime character. It just like walks around slow and just like deletes stuff. All right, so that's, uh, that's all for today. And uh, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up and uh comment if you are unsure you have any questions just let me know and have a great one exile stay safe